Hey guys, Gene Wells here again. Did I lose Wells? There he is. There he is. All right, all right. Unit five, day one, flying right through here. Um, number four in the notes today, we discussed the distributed property. That's where we have a number, like negative nine here, sitting out in front of parentheses with a couple things inside the parentheses. So what we're going to do is we're going to take negative nine, and distribute means to multiply through a set of parentheses. So I drew two arrows. Just reminding myself that I'm going to take negative 9 and times it by 2x first. That's negative 18x. And then I'm going to take negative 9 and times it by the positive 4. It's a positive 4 there. So negative times a positive is a negative. 9 times 4 is 36. So negative 18x minus 36. All right, guys, for practice problem uh, number 6 on your notes, um, you can see that there's no distributing because there's no parentheses. And that's a good indicator that um, you do not have to distribute. But we do have multiple terms here. We have uh, a 7n, a positive 12, a negative 10n, and a negative 6. And so what we showed you in class is let's circle what we combine. I usually start with the variables. So I'm going to start with a positive 7n. And then I'm also going to circle, I'm going to go through and I see that there's another variable with an n. And I'm going to circle the sine and the number with the variable. So that's a negative 10 and a positive 7. And like we learned uh, back in uh, unit 1, signs are different. We're going to subtract. So we're going to get a 3. There's more negative, so it's a negative 3n. All right, and I'm going to use a different color. And usually what I do is I box my numbers in. I can see that I have a positive 12 and a negative 6. Once again, the signs are different, so I'm going to subtract. 12 minus 6 is 6 and there's more positives, so it'd be negative 3n plus 6. And then number 22, we're really going to combine the two steps uh, or processes that we just did. Notice there are parentheses. So we always take care of those first. And the number sitting out in front of the parentheses is a negative 2. So I need to take my negative 2 and times it by both of these numbers in the parentheses. That's the first thing I want to do, distribute. So negative 2 times 2x is a negative 4x. All right. And a negative 2 times the 12, negative times a positive 12 would be a negative 24. And then we can't forget we still have this 2 sitting out here. So I need to write that down. So that's my first step. Now there's no parentheses. Distributing is done. Um, we need to go ahead and do um, the next step, which would be combine the like terms. Um, I have three terms here. I've got a 2, I have a negative 4x, and I have a negative 24. There's nothing I can combine with that negative 4x. I'm going to leave that right out front. But I could combine my positive 2 and my negative 24 because those are both number terms. Positive 2, negative 24, different signs, difference, subtract. 2 and 24 would be 22. And we know it's a minus 22 because there are more negatives. There's 24 negatives, only two positives. Answer, negative 4x minus 22.